first look at this bike you'd think ah, it's not of any value looks like it's just an old bike not worth anything but actually I think uh, it is worth something so I have no idea what brand this bike is there's no head badge there's no decals anywhere on it so it's difficult to say right now what brand the bike is uh, and I don't know yet what year it was made but what I said before about the value well I think it is a pretty decent bike you can see the strong light crank very collectible the simplex criterium rear derailleur and front derailleur and the main thing about these is whether or not they're gonna break once they're removed or shifted in any position that should be all right i think the derailleur uh we've got normandy hubs large flange ones and actually these are mavic 27 inch rims you can see here the old decal there spokes are really bad condition and these shifters are not simplex so they're not connected with these front and rear derailers so whether or not it was swapped out at some point or whether it, the bike was built like a custom built bike it's hard to say got a cool Philippe stem I don't know what the handlebars are yet and these are CLB uh, brake levers with Mafak racer brakes as far as the saddle Oh, that's the weakest, <laughs> I think. I don't even know where it is, but... And whether or not that seat post moves, I don't know. But, pretty good bike, actually, with its, these type of quality parts. Just as good as any mid-range Motobacan or Peugeot of the day. Uh, needs a lot of cleaning. You can see... The amount of dirt but it's not really that deep and the tubes are actually not bad it's just really dust and dirt from uh, being on a farm for decades uh, probably everything just needs a good clean Pretty cool bike actually, I think. I'm starting to think that this is, uh, this bike's been repainted. You can see underneath here, there are traces of red paint on the cups of the uh, headset. And down here also. And on the rear derailleur bracket, which is attached to the frame, there's paint on there. And you can see also here, this Hure bracket is also red, which means it was on the bike when it was painted. So I'm starting to think that this is uh, a bike that's been resprayed, repainted, and that's why it has no decals.
Well, after a five minute wash with soap and water, it looks pretty good, much better. Amazing how these bags come back to life. And the, the red is actually quite a nice shade. I think it's uh, it was someone who did the respray, did a good job. Looking good. Shifter is very stiff. Oh, it's working. Down. Real small. It's not going down all the way. Well, it's going down to the second gear. But it seems all right, actually. The shifter is stiff, and then you move it too much, and then it jumps the gear up. Or down. But yeah, it looks all right. Well, I've just loosened the seat post bolt, and now is a moment of truth whether or not this thing is going to come off. Ah, oh, yeah, it's good. Bit of luck. Thank you. It's good. You can see what I mean about the paint job here. The definitely being resprayed because there's signs of this paint all over the place. See if I can find. Oh, there you go. Immediately. Let's see. Immediately see. Let's have a look. Seventy-five. See that? It says seventy-five there. So I know the date of the bike, 1975. I know someone resprayed it. It's all over the place. It's on cables. It's on the headset. It's on the hanger. Um, it was even on the back of the crankset. Um, but what's interesting for me is what mark, what brand the bike was originally. And I'm beginning to think it could have been a Mercier. If you look at here, this is pink. And you can just see here as well, there's pink there. And I'm gonna turn it over. So there it is again on the bottom bracket. There's no serial number on there either, uh, unfortunately. And there's still no other marks, but these pink um, paint parts of the bike tell me that it's a good chance that this bike was a Mercier because it's the only French bike of that period I can think of that was this colour. I mean, I have seen Bertans in pink, but they're much rarer than the Mercier uh, famous rose coloured bikes of that of this uh, 1970s period so I think there's a good chance this bike is a Mercier and I think it feels pretty light especially when the wheels are off wheels are really heavy on this bike so yeah possibly it's uh, a 1975 Mercier so here's the pedal the threaded uh, bolt that keeps it in place. Ball bearings were in there. I took this off so I could access the skewer, which was still stuck to the crank arm. And then I decided I was going to use a vise to take off the actual skewer itself. Now the problem with that idea is you can just see here on the very edge is a lip on this and that was stopping the vice from 
have a keen grip on the flats so we had to grind down that lip in order to flatten it so that the vise could have a grip on the complete flats and then we were able to rotate it off and it used a huge amount of force I mean there's no way that pedal on this left side could have been removed with the pedal wrench it was just so stuck on there even the Mapac racer brake kanga on the rear, the rear side has got paint on it bizarre
Never seen a sticker on a handlebar like that before. It's Beleri handlebar with uh, this original sticker there. There are the here right here is the the emblem. So the bike is nearly finished. I haven't yet bought the grip tape for it, which would be red felt type from the original era. Uh, cleaned up, polished the frame, cleaned the strong, strong light crank set and the, all the derailers. And one thing I had to do was to put new wheels on it because the wheels that were already original to the bike were too far gone. I just couldn't clean them and the stainless steel spokes were just rusted right through. So I put new wheel set. That's the only thing that's different. Uh, I oiled the hood so that they got some life back into them. I need to fix that mud guard, which is sticking up at the front there. Um, strong light crank came out really well. As you can see, the simplex derailleur looks good, and the rear, um, the Mafat brakes fine. Felipe or Philippe, let's just say. The stem is polished and the original saddle, I cleaned that as well. So look, it's amazing what you can do with these old bikes. Even ones that seem completely wrecked can come back to life with some good care and attention. So I'm really pleased how it's come out. 